Jackson here. Greetings. Dearest WordPresses, how are you? Nice to have you, as always. Been looking through the back catalogue recently, back past vids, seeing if anything needed a bit of a remake for uh, 2024, and uh, came across the old scroll to top vid, you know, little button, bottom right hand side of your web page, click it, scroll back up the top. Of course, back in those days, it was get a plugin, configure the pl <laughs> configure the plugin, and you got a button. Um, we don't need plugins anymore for such simple functionality. So in this revised 2024 version, block theme orientated, it's scroll to top again. Right, a little scroll to top, you know what we're talking about. User scrolls down the page and in the bottom right hand corner, Little, a little arrow or some icon appears that says or indicates that you should be able to click it and get back to the top. Pretty simple stuff. We could, of course, just add an image there, stick a, a link to go to the ID at the top of the page and it will be done. Let me show you what I mean. If we go to the editor, open up the editor and we go to our patterns and our footer, open him up, get him open, open him list view. And after the group, let us right click, add after. Let's make that an image. Let's grab our little pre-prepared arrow up. We'll give that a little height and width. We'll also add a link to it. And it will be an anchor to our page top. Save that, save that. and. Command K gets us the command palette. Control or Command K gets us the control palette. Let's look for the header and stick on our group that ID anchor tag of dash top. Save that. Oh, one thing we need to do on the button is Command Control K. Let's get back to our footer for a second. As we need a little a little identifier for this, we'll get put a class of scroll top button that's our arrow identifier so if we go back to our front end now refresh yeah we do have a button there and it does take you to the top bit fast smooth scroll coming up on that but it's stuck at the bottom obviously and we could just sort of you know inspect that where's our scroll top button there it is uh so we create a new rule for that. We'll just use the single scroll top button. And we say put a position of fixed, then a bottom of zero. Left, sorry, right is zero. There we go. And maybe actually, maybe we'll make it a little. So yeah, so we do have a back to top button, but of course it's stuck there the whole time and we don't want that now do we we want it to fade in and fade out gracefully as the user scrolls so let's get back to our footer and i'm going to show you like the the, ch the super cheating version first so we'll delete our image i've got a little bit of code snippet action going on let's go and have a look at that and um as it says in the uh, comment here just paste everything below here and it will just work. I'll, I'll, we're going to go through how it works in a second, but let's let's just do that. We'll grab that, go back to our footer, and we'll add after and make that element H, an HTML block. Paste it in. Click Save. Save again. Back to our home page. Refresh. Okay, cool. Nothing there as yet. Start scrolling. Oh, would you look at that? We get a little... A little up arrow in the corner there and when we click it it scrolls gracefully up to the top the smooth scroll is on there by the way now this is where the the point in the video where the views drop right off because you've got what you wanted but it's not necessarily how you should implement something like this that said given that there is so much inline styling and functionality with the block theme world that we live in you could argue that that's a perfectly acceptable way to do it However, if we want to make this a bit more transportable and also implemented in a much more accepted, recognized way, we're going to do it. We're going to do it the proper way. So let's delete our HTML there and everything should be back to normal on the front end. Let's refresh. Yep, no arrows going on. Right. So let's have a look at this code again. What this was doing, it was putting a div with a class on it, which is that button class. 
that we had on that image, if you remember. It's got a link to go to page top as per our image, if you recall. And inside the A-Link is just an SVG. And if you want some really quick way of getting SGVs, if you head over to the icon library, courtesy of WP Helpers, that's Brian and uh, Aruba, you can have a look for stuff like up. And there you go, a little chevron there. Cheeky little fella, look tiny. And the great thing with inline SVGs is they are minute. You don't have to load icon libraries or font libraries or anything like that. You just copy it in and put it in your HTML. Perfect. But the thing is, how are we going to get this HTML into our template stroke theme without plonking it in the page somewhere? So this is where we actually utilize some classic WordPress functionality. It hasn't gone away just because we're making block themes these days. If we open up this uh, snippet I've got ready here, you see I've got an add the image icon function, which basically echoes out that exact same div. And then afterwards, we add an action which hooks into the uh, WP footer hook which says, take this HTML and stick it in the WP footer. Pretty simple stuff. So if we grab that and go to our theme code, and I've got the blank block theme here, my little effort at creating something that is very usable to create block themes from scratch without starting from scratch. If you catch my drift, there's a card above me with an explainer vid to that. Link in the description below to that vid and also a link to download my version of a blank boilerplate starter template theme anyway so yeah so i've got all the stuff here which is um the usual stuff like functions what have you so let's get that function in there and see how that's looking save that let's get back to our front end refresh that and yes we have a very large a very large icon in our footer that's the beauty of svg and if we click it it does take us back to the top wicked Right, next on our little cheat version was the, the CSS, which makes, it, which makes it stick to the bottom and positions it in the right place and resizes it. Let's grab that and go to our theme files and on our styles.css, we'll just get down to the bottom and add that. And we'll add, also add the scroll behavior, which makes it the smooth scrolling. Scroll. CSS. So now when we save that, go back to our front end, refresh, uh, it's gone. And that's because it's the, remember the opacity? It's set to zero to begin with because we don't want to see it. If we just set that to one, come back, refresh, there it is. Oh, and it's scrolling up beautifully. But it's stuck there exactly the same way. So this is where we need to get our hands dirty and get our JS pants on. Not much JS, if I'm absolutely honest. It's just this little snippet here little script. Now, like I said, we're trying not to keep putting, we're trying not to put code on the page because it's site wide and it's in one footer part, which is a pattern and blah, blah, blah. So don't be afraid. We're going to update our theme files again, uh, and we're going to add the JS in here. So how do we do that? Well, first up, we need to create a new folder and we're going to call that assets. And in that folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it JS dot JS. And in that folder, we'll go grab our JS. We don't need the script tags because obviously it's coming from a JS file. We'll paste that in. Save that. Now, the website doesn't know about this JS file, so we've got to enqueue that script so it loads and can execute on the page. So let's go back to our snippets and underneath the icon function is our load scripts in theme. And, and this is sim simply saying, create a function to enqueue the script and then creates an action to call the hook WP and Q scripts. And that's basically saying, go and get the JS file from that folder. And you see there's the assets, there's our JS, JS. If you use a different name or different folder name, make sure you change that. We'll copy that, put that into our functions. So we have the load style stuff here. And we're just going to add the load scripts here. Uh, you can combine these, but let's keep it simple for this demonstration. Okay, save that. Back to our front end. Refresh. Oh, hang on. We've got to set our opacity back to zero on our on our default state. We don't want to see it. Refresh that now. No arrow. Nice. Scrolling, scrolling. Ah, look at that lovely little arrow coming in and scrolls back to top. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Probably add a bit more space to it. 
probably how my screen recordings set up but no oh, isn't that gorgeous scrolling to top no plugins required and very simple wouldn't you say and if you want a bit more block theme tip action try this one for size but until next time i shall see you later <laughs>